Hi, how's it going? This is Resident of Colin back with my final video for tonight. This video was by request by a subscriber. This video is a character retrospective about Amanda Harris. I wasn't sure if I did an Amanda Harris video or not, so I looked, I didn't see one, is what I'll say. <laughs> so. Who is Amanda Harris? Well, Amanda Harris is somebody who was created by a painter. And you might say, wait, what? <laughs> I can't talk about Amanda Harris without talking about Charles Delaware Tate. Charles Delaware Tate was a painter who had the unique ability of whatever he painted would happen. So when he paints Quentin's portrait, the curse of the werewolf is trapped within the portrait when he paints things they seem to come to life and people lo and behold amanda harris a woman who literally appears out of nowhere with tim shaw a woman who has no past no recollection of a past So she's brought to life by portrait. Amanda Harris was in love with Quentin. She wanted to be with Quentin. This, this is sort of my issue with this character here. Okay, I talked about how Quentin was the OG pimp. I, I meant that literally. Think about this. Beth, Jenny, Beth, Angelique. And and now and <laughs> now Amanda Harris, like how many women do you need, man? I just I just got done reading part. I just did part two of Patrick's book, and they were talking about the Kennedys. Quentin was Joe Kennedy Senior. <laughs> Swear to God, the dude was a pimp. The dude. He, <laughs> The more women, the better, I guess. I just... That's sort of part, partially why I don't really care for this character. I'm going to be honest with you. The one th Again, I, I've always told you I'm going to try to entertain you, but the one thing you'll get from me here is honesty. Amanda Harris has got to be my least favorite character because really, the end result of her is just... I mean, her character screams disaster, really. I mean, you sort of get that she's not going to be around because her plot is thin. She's charismatic as hell. She can talk. She, she's beautiful to look at. I always thought that this woman could be... That this could be... Your, again, they had so many potential setups for... You know, a reveal for Vicky. Maybe this woman was Vicky's mother. Maybe, you know, but no. None of that. And it's not because of that reason. The reason I just don't like this character, because they really, they just make her another one of Quentin's love interest. She literally kills, you know, kills herself waiting for Quentin. But, you know, Death, Mr. Best you know, death says, oh, I'll give you another chance. All you got to do is find him and to, you know, convince him who you are. No problem. <laughs> Only Quentin moves around more than any gypsy ever dreamt about, right? <laughs> he moves around. He's, he's under a pen name. So he's hard to find. And by the time she finds him, it's too late. It's time that, you know, Quentin has to now save her from the clutches of death by not touching her. And, well, that doesn't work out too well. <laughs> And she dies. I, I feel... Even though I don't like the character, I really felt bad for her. Like, it's like... She's... she's Tim Shaw wants her to help him blackmail Reverend... You know, Reverend Gregory, Tra Gregory Trask. The Reverend Gregory Trask. Yeah, she's, she's not really keen on Tim Shaw. I think she, again, she has, she has her own personality because she is literally a complete stranger. She literally, 
she was put on a canvas and appeared uh, from said canvas almost, you might as well say. Not literally, mind you, but when she was painted, she appeared. Uh, not in front of Charles Delaware Tate, mind you, which I'm sure he would have loved. But, you know, just, he appears. She appears, sorry. Should have should have Amanda Harris have died? Should she have killed herself? No. What? No. This. I don't understand the point of killing this woman off. I I don't like the. Mind you, I don't think you need Quentin to be happy with her, but you could have wrote her in other things. There's other things you could have did with her, and then Mister Best. <laughs> Death, death gives her a chance because he's got the hots for. Her. <laughs> I'm not making this shit up. <laughs> I'm not making it up. <laughs> I love it to death. This is how crazy Dark Shadows is. I mean, I love it to death, but Amanda Harris is not one of my favorite characters, and for reasons that go something like this. What they did with her was make her another one of another one of Quentin's women. Even Charity was hitting on Quentin, so technically that makes six. Six. How many women do you need? For the love of, and by the way, Jenny dies. Beth dies. And Angelique's a witch. She goes in and out of hell when she wants to. I mean, can you count that as a relationship? And we all know who she's really wanting. Then there's Amanda Harris, who, who just... is created by a painter. <laughs> then there's Charity, who, who doesn't know who she is at times. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. That one quite... <laughs> You know what? I'm not even gonna get into that one. That that's that's another timeline. But <laughs> Amanda Harris, well, in 1970, when Amanda Harris shows up, because Amanda Harris has been resurrected by Death himself, Mr. Best. And yes, they call him Mr. Best in the show. Okay, that's his name. They don't call him Death, but damn it, you know it's Death. He may not be holding a sickle or wearing a black hood or looking like a skeleton. God damn it, it's death. She she comes to Collinsport where he lived, where he did live. She can't find him. Finally, again, she finds him. But it's too late. Again, Quentin has to save her by not touching her. That doesn't work out too well. She ends up being 86. She's gone for good. That That's the character's history. The character's history is like so short it's unreal. And, and don't get me wrong. There are characters on the show Dark Shadows that have had a, sh had a, had a shorter career. Harry Johnson. Um, <laughs> was it? <laughs> Again, so she's not the only one. Julianka had, a bit, had shorter than Amanda Harris. So there are characters in 1897 who have just a very short span of being in front of the camera and having your focus that are really interesting and they just take them away like the snap of a finger. And Amanda Harris isn't the only one, like I've mentioned. Again, even though I'm not a fan of the character of Amanda Harris, I do wish they would have did more with her. It's not, again... This always, look, I don't try to make things about my personal preference of who my favorite character is or isn't. I just wish they would have done something more or different with the character than make her one of Quentin's women. Because by this time, by the time Amanda Harris shows up, Quentin has had more opportunities with women than anybody. Look, I swear, and I'm not making this up, Barnabas had Josette, Angelique, he wanted Vicky, okay, 
but that that didn't work out. Roxanne doesn't work out. So really, Quentin, and if I could, again, Angelique, we know that story. If I include, Quentin had more attempts at women than Barnabas. What does that tell you? Pimp. <laughs> no, not really, but... I just, again, I just wish they, they did something different with Amanda, uh, Amanda Harris. What could they have done with her? How about instead of her committing suicide, because she feels she's been abandoned by Quentin, she vows to kill him. I mean, yeah, you could say, well, there are women, Jenny will try to kill him. Yeah, but nobody since from a female standpoint other than Beth. Well, Beth. But Beth more tries to kill him because she's mad at him because he's in love. He's, she thinks he's in love with Angelique. He's not really in love with her. He just agreed to marry her. There's a difference. Quentin is a man of his word. But, I mean, couldn't you have done that instead of just having this girl... I guess I'm more mad that they killed, they had this girl commit suicide because it felt senseless once they bring her back with Mr. Best. Again, I get they're wanting to introduce this death character and I'm cool with that. But I'm sure, look, death has always been a part of Colin, what in Colin Sport, okay? You could have just had Mr. Best show up and trust me, it would have went just as smoothly. <laughs> because to me, Death was always around, right? You didn't have to see Death to know it was around, right? Okay. Well, Mr. enter Mr. Best. Here's Death. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Death. Death itself. Mr. Best. <laughs> Here's a better... Why didn't... Why didn't they have Mr. Best as a new Count Patofe? Why didn't they have that? Again, there's... Uh, the, it's, again, I'm not mad at the creation of the character. I'm more conflicted with what they did with her. It made, it made no real sense to do all those things. Again, and there are characters, look, that are going to be like that in any show. And I love Dark Shadows to death. I love it to pieces. And I'm not knocking it. I'm just looking at it and going... What what was the real point of this character? To give Quentin another woman to slip through his fingers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did we really need that? Because that's what Amanda Harris feels like to me. She just feels like another woman. They're, they're, they're handing off to Quentin and he's going to fumble. And he does. So does she, really. By offing herself for some reason. She's so in love with Quentin, she'd rather die. She she die, she jumps off the bridge. Craziness. I I wonder if any dark the Dark Shadows writers were, were read the first Shadow Pulp. Because the reason I bring this up, she jumps off the bridge. There's a shadow agent who tries to jump off a bridge, but the shadow saves him. The Brooklyn Bridge. So, Harry Vincent tries to do this. Just saying, sounds similar. Sounds similar. Sounds like some of the, some, one of the writers from Dark Shadows read the, read the first Shadow Pulp ever. The Living Shadow. Could be. Who knows? It, again, it sounds eerily similar very eerie sim. <laughs> Only difference is nobody saves Amanda Harris. They just let her jump. They just let her jump. I, again, I didn't. I get she's in love with Quentin, but I don't see that she's so in love with him. Why don't they just do this on Widow's Hill? Because she's not married. I guess because she's not married to him. And Beth, Beth jumps off of Widow's Hill. 
I guess that's the reason. So Beth dies. Another girl jumps for. Uh, oh my God. Death. Uh, here's the thing, too. M Mr. Best is Death. Death seems to follow Quentin's women. Enter Mr. Best, right? So. <laughs> We're going to watch the video like, wait, what? I I'm serious. Like, literally. The character is a character, Mr. Best, but he's death. It's death. Death seems to follow Quentin's women. Do not get in a relationship with that man. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. I hope I've been informative of Amanda Harris, how she was created, how she dies. The, the character just does not have the best lifespan. And by the way, she doesn't, she doesn't really do anything to, to really help stop Reverend Trat, to me, enough. More Tim Shaw and, you know, Judith stopped Trash more than anything. So really, again, they just don't do enough with that character to me. I just feel they could have did more is all what I'll say. And that's where I'll wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed the video. What were your thoughts? You guys' thoughts on Amanda Harris. Please comment. I hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow night for part three for the Dark Shadows Day Book Read Along. You guys have a great night.